For lesson 4.6, it's still working with dis division, and this time we're working on the distributive property, and with this, you're going to be breaking the numbers apart so they can be easily divided, and a lot of times this works great for mental math, and a lot of the kids are working hard on trying to do all this in their head um, without having to write it all out. Um, but at this point, I'm going to be going step by step and with every thought process that I have. So for the first problem, I have 26 divided by 2, and I'm going to break apart my 26 into something easier that I can divide. So I'm going to say, well, what's the value of my 2? And that's really worth 20. And I'm going to divide that by 2. I'm also going to be adding to that. I need to remember my 6 in the 1's place. So I'm going to take 6 divided by 2. And this breaks it apart a little bit easier, especially if it's a larger number uh, for the kids to understand. So over here we go back to our, one of our previous lessons where we say, well I know 2 divided by 2 is 1, but it's not just a 2, it's really 20. So that equals 10, plus 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and then I finish with adding my 10 plus 3, and that gives me 13 as my final quotient. Another example could be 39 divided by 3. And eventually, like I said, the kids should be able to see this in their head, but I'm going to break it apart for now. And we have 30 divided by 3, since that's what this 3 is worth, plus my 1's place, which is 9 divided by 3. And so then I go back and I divide each. 30 divided by 3 is 10, plus 9 divided by 3, which is 3, still gives me a quotient of 13. Now sometimes it doesn't always work out where you have the exact value that goes into um, the dividend, so we're going to try another one where it's a little bit different. I'm going to do 225 divided by 5. Now this one we can break apart a couple different ways. There are many different ways to do it depending on what your compatible numbers are or the basic facts that you know, um, but for me I'm going to start with my 200. I know the value of the 2 is really worth 200 divided by 5. And then I can tell, I can visualize the 25. And I know that 5 goes into 25. So I'm going to add this part of it, 25 divided by 5. Now going back to the previous lesson, I see that 5 goes into 20 four times. But it's not just 20, it's 200. So 5 goes into 200. 40 times, plus 25 divided by 5 is 5, and then I finish out by adding those two together, and I get 45 as my final quotient. Again, the ultimate goal is for them to eventually do this in their head, um, but this is a great way to get them there um, while they have that visual example with them. Another example that we could do would be, um, let's do 30... 189 divided by 9. Now this time I still ask the kids, do you see any factors um, dealing with the 9 that you could easily divide? And some of them say, well I know that 9 goes into 18, but it's not really worth 18, it's worth 180. And I broke that apart, and I'm going to divide it. But then I still have my 1's place to worry about, and so I'm going to divide 9 divided by 9. And so then I look at this problem and I say, well, I know that 9 goes into 18 two times, but it's not just 18, it's 180, so I have to make sure I take care of that place value. And I have 9 divided by 9, and that gives me 1 with my final quotient of 21.